Hi, this is Ben Gelfand with Technique Peak. Today we're going to go over a technique from going from, um, from being on your knees to full extension of the hip. And I like this technique because it really uses core, it uses your abductors, and then you finish up with a stretch of your anterior hip. So why don't we go, without any further ado, go over this. So Kim, thank you for coming. Can you get on all fours with your feet hanging over the side here? Sure. And so the reason I like, perfect, right now we'll just stay right there. I like the feet off the side because some people don't have enough motion or some people are here for their feet. Um, and this takes the ankle out of the picture. Can you just sit down on your heels or as far as you can? That's fine. Perfect. So now what I want you to do is can you come up and try and reach for the ceiling all the way up and now thrust your hip forward a little bit. Perfect. And you should feel a little bit of stretch yes. to the front and you should feel that coming up, mm -hmm. you felt your hip, uh, your, glute your gluteal muscles helping you lift up as well as others, but this is a hip activity. And then also in order to do this correctly, you have to have a certain amount of core strength. So why don't we do this again? Come on back down to all fours. Good. So we could start like this. Now reach, go down into a child's pose type of position. So again, people may not have enough knee motion. Just go back as far as you can. And now the idea is not to sort of hinge backwards, but to lift yourself straight up. So in doing so, coming up, she's using her core and her uh, abductors to come up. And then we want that little extra thrust from the hips to going forward to get that anterior capsule, iliopsoas, et cetera, all the, all the flexion components of the hip. And come back down. And I just like that this is really a, you could do it uh, more of repetitions than it is holding because it's a mixture of stretch and strengthen. So we'll do it with a certain rhythm. So let's go and just do, we'll do another two or three. So right back down, perfect. Come straight up and thrust forward. So you may feel that here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. Good, come back down. Just hold for a second or two, just so you don't become a runaway train. Come back down, and straight up again. And then with that thrust. Perfect. And then come back down. I like to do, since this can be exertional, I like to really just do one set of 10. This is really something very nice to do, both either in the clinic but it's really even better as a home program to do. They could do it on their bed, they could do it on the floor if they can. Bed is even harder because it's, it's softer and you have to use some proprioceptive balance as well. Um, but this is the technique peak for strengthening of the hip and stretching of the anterior capsule. I hope this helps and thank you.